Good evening from Europe, guys. Good morning. Good afternoon, whatever you are. Piotr here, Slide Forex Global YouTube channel. And today's video, we are going to discuss Australian dollar. Well, the long term and medium term charts looks really, really bullish, but well, there is a little bit of the disconnection, just in my opinion, a little bit of the disconnection when it comes to the uh, when it comes to the macro. So, China. China, 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 China. The problems with the export to China, uh, the domestic economy. Uh, well, so the next uh, three months, so the first quarter is going to be very, very interesting. The thing is the any kind of the move to the downside, for example, on uh, out USD, is it going to be the pullback? Well, as long as we are holding above. 70 that could be the case but china domestic economy the overall senti market sentiment that's uh, the one thing and uh, the second thing the charts so guys let's without a further delay let's jump straight and check few australian dollar charts see you inside let's start with um, out usd monthly chart guys here uh, very quickly, if you do remember, we were discussing this stuff uh, quite a few times already just to know where we are at the very beginning of 2021. Guys, that was the uh, COVID sell-off. Uh, so taking into the consideration monthly chart, taking into the consideration uh, this break to the upside, the retest exactly to the point, right? Uh, theoretically, theoretically, based only on this monthly chart, we might see levels as high uh, as 84.85 when it comes to the Australian dollar. It means that this consolidation from which we broke to the downside, right, might be broken to the upside. For now, we are testing 50% of that one. So based on the monthly chart uh, if you are a buyer then that's your possible levels all right so somewhere around december low in that case in that case we are talking about the levels close to uh 73.50 all right and again eventually retest of the 0.70 so that's the possible possible uh, buying opportunities. If you are a uh, if you are an Australian dollar buyer, you don't care about the China and domestic economic problems. Uh, of course, the focus is going to be uh, when it comes to the Australian dollar uh, RBA number one, right? GDP number two, inflation number three, right? Uh, job market number four and of course things related to uh, to China what is important what is important that for the first two weeks of the first two weeks of the uh, January there's nothing uh, when it comes to the hard data out of the uh, uh, Australia nothing uh, on the agenda so it could be uh, freely moved to the uh, to the upside the only eventually negative sentiment on the other hand some guys are whispering that the, uh, we are starting the new uh, commodity bull cycle. So, well, that could be also the case. Anyway, today we are discussing the, the chart. So monthly, really, really bullish when it comes to the Australian dollar. As of now, with the possibility of the pullback currently. Why? Because the weekly chart is also something we discuss quite a few times. All right. But with the weekly chart, our latest weakness is measured from here right so if we are measuring from here all right guys boom be very careful be extremely careful trying to chase Australian dollar right now I'm not saying I'm not saying we cannot go higher from here because easily um, if you are if you are watching what is going on with the dollar but that's the consolidation we discussed second ago from the monthly same visible here on the weekly 
and that's the 50% of that consolidation is being tested right now. Taking into the consideration that we have U.S. Uh, yields rise, that could impact uh, that could impact the commodity currency. So from that particular chart, I wouldn't be surprised to see soon some kind of the pullback, some kind of the bearish activity. Right? What 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 would be what would be the target? The levels we discussed a second ago from the monthly chart levels close to 7350, uh, and uh, that's number one. Number two, that's the consolidate bullish consolidation. Half of that, 7180 uh, as a target number two. So that's how I see the Australian dollar versus um, US dollar. The next one is um, the commodity currencies uh, possible setups. It's a outcut. And here we are testing very, very, based on the monthly chart, very important level. That's uh, from where we broke to the downside, right, when it comes when it comes to this consolidation, all right? So that's the very important level we are testing right here, right now. But of course, taking into the consideration latest weakness, uh, latest strength, uh, doing the same measures as we did with the uh, out USD, right? Still a little bit more space, meaning that taking into the consideration, again, this as a consolidation, we are talking about something like 50 50 percent so there are two levels when it comes to the sellers somewhere around the current level maybe a little bit higher uh, because here is also the possibility of finishing the business of the swing high all right and then half of that uh, consolidation uh, so we are talking about the current levels we are talking about the levels close to parity and then 101 eventually if you are a buyer then you are taking into the consider consideration this consolidation the move higher half of that is a december low and uh, we are talking about the levels close to 94 50 95 that's where i would look for buying opportunity when it comes to the monthly chart um, when it comes to the weekly chart uh, situation is a little bit different something similar we discussed with uh, cut here we already hit uh, the measurement move uh, so again that's why I've mentioned that on the monthly we have a line on the monthly so some kind of the uh, levels related to the swing high we have the equal measure move what could be the target eventually to the downside of course we have uh, of course we have Riley base Riley so pull back from here towards 95 50 95 eventually right because it's where from the weekly chart i do expect some buyers if we are going to break through lower uh so the uh, where the rally started 93 30 and finally finally uh, this uh, consolidation could be targeted as as well so that's how i see the things when it comes to uh, medium long term aussie cut in both cases uh, Australian dollar, US dollar, Australian dollar, Canadian dollar. Currently, we are trading around some kind of the uh, supply. And the uh, last one is Australian dollar versus Japanese yen. Here is the uh, really, really most bullish, uh, at least for now. Uh, it's going to be all about sentiment, in my opinion. All right because from the monthly chart we just started it looks like levels close to 92 could be in place uh, the only thing is that at that point we were the weakest because we quiet really quiet didn't hold the weakness right but anyway trying to go trying to go uh, higher from here so the first target is gonna be around 82 second around 92 in the in the meantime it could be also the half of that consolidation somewhere around 87 now uh, so that's the bullish case on the monthly chart from the bears perspective it could be attempt to try to build uh one two 
third touch eventually, right? And make some kind of the pullback. If that's the case, if the market would like to do some kind of the, uh, some kind of the uh, megaphone formation here, right? Uh, then, well, mid of that line is around 70, 72. And this type of the pullback could be uh, in place, uh, taking into the consideration this stops below 73.70. But uh, to have this type of the scenario, we would have to have a very, very negative uh, market sentiment. Now, weekly chart, all right? Weekly chart, uh, a little bit different uh, measure, but not, not, not that big difference, right? Still towards 90 in that case, all right? The thing is market here, ideally, Hold the bottom, right? Trying to make the rally. So as of now, from the weekly chart perspective, if you are a buyer, then you may you may want to you may want to try to trade this channel over here, right? Every time we are going to hit the bottom, you may wanna uh, be the buyer, uh, and eventually, if you are a seller looking for opportunity uh, with the possible let's say this type of the setup that there is a channel that's the candle and we've seen some shadow above the top of the channel but the closing side that could be pulled back to the bottom of the channel so that's how it looks from the weekly chart guys that was the medium and long term view uh, for the australian dollar for now uh, don't be trapped it was my pleasure to prepare this update for you. I'm preparing a few more currencies, so uh, I'm going to be around with more uh, medium long term updates. Take care. Goodbye. See you around.